picadillo, the minced meat recipe that's a weekly staple in Cuban households for its simplicity, versatility, and absolute deliciousness. I've been eating this recipe my entire life and it was handed down to my grandmother, my mom, me, and now I'm sharing it with you. Let's cook. First, we're gonna start by placing a pot over medium heat with some olive oil. Then we need to slice and dice a medium white onion and we're also gonna dice a green or red bell pepper, cook's choice or whatever you have in your fridge. Once the oil is hot, add your onion, bell peppers, and a pinch of salt. We want to start sweating the onions and in the meantime, smash some garlic or use a garlic press. I'm using six large cloves, which is borderline enough to ward off vampires because this is going to add tons of flavor. Once the onions become translucent, not caramelized, we add our garlic and mix. Now this is what the Spanish call sofrito, which is basically the Spanish version of what the French call mirepoix. Once it smells nice and fragrant, which it does, it's time to add our lean ground beef. You want to use around 92 or 93% lean because anything more is just going to render too much fat and not actually add any flavor to the dish. It just makes it a lot more greasy or greasier. Then another pinch of salt, cumin, oregano, and then let the meat brown for a few minutes. Afterwards, you're going to add eight ounces of tomato sauce, half a cup of raisins, and half a cup of manzanilla olives. Now, I'm not a big fan of olives, but the flavor that they bring to this dish is absolutely critical. Even if you choose not to add the olives, at least add a quarter cup of the olive's juice because the juice is worth the squeeze. We're going to let this sit and cook for 15 to 20 minutes, stirring every once in a while until it has this beautiful brown color. Then it's time to plate. Traditionally, picadillo is served with white rice and black beans, but it can also be used to make other dishes like stuffed potatoes or one of my favorites empanadas, which is why picadillo is a family favorite. So now you have my family's recipe and I guarantee you're gonna love it. My name is Dennis and this is Black Tie Kitchen. I'll catch you in the next one. Mmm, so good.